to my channel Creative Art. I am Nilima. In today's tutorial, we are going to make all these beautiful clear resin coasters using some dried flowers and glittering gold foil. The clear resin helps to magnify the beauty of these flowers and see this is how beautiful each one of them look. The resin is so clean, clear and it absolutely magnifies the beauty of each flower. I just love each one of them. Look at this clarity of resin and the flower we have placed in it. I can clearly see each vein of orchid through this one so friends do watch the complete tutorial to make these beautiful resin coasters yourself and do subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any updates on a new art form and in my next tutorial friends i'm going to show you how you can preserve these beautiful flowers yourself at home so you can use them in your resin artworks now let's check out all the materials. To make this beautiful resin coasters, first of all, we are going to need Expo Art Resin from Little Birdie. It is said to be food grade once fully cured. Next, for shine, I'm going to use gliding flakes. These are the gold gliding flakes. And the main content and the most beautiful things we are going to add in this resin coasters are these beautiful dried flowers. So either you can dry flowers naturally you just have to take these roses and hang them upside down in this way in this way right in front of your window or in sunlight and within seven days you'll get this kind of dried flowers so these are few dried roses these are few dried grass these are few white filler flowers here i have some of the dried roses these are white roses few orchids carnations few small red flowers so the roses and white flowers are naturally dried in sunlight and these flowers the carnation and the white roses i have used silica gel to dry them up and one more way to dry flowers are to book press the natural flowers and finally this is how beautiful they look then i have few carnations in this book and this is how flat and smooth they look i also have book pressed few orchids they look like this and then few beautiful pink flowers which i have book pressed so these are few ways you can dry or book press your flowers to get them flat like this look how beautiful the shape looks but in case if you are unable to get any flowers from outside we also have a solution to use the dried rose petals from little birdie so this pouch contains one pack of dried rose petals which we are going to use in this tutorial this time other than that we are going to need a measuring unit you can either use a paper cup like this one or else you can also use silicon mugs like these ones these are reusable so i like to use these ones a flaming torch few ice cream sticks for mixing the resin and finally and finally silicon mold for pouring resin and making coasters out of it there are different sizes of silicon molds available so i'll link you two to three different types all these materials will be listed and linked in the description box below from where you can buy them online so now let's start the tutorial friends now first of all let's start by measuring some clear resin for that i'll place an empty cup on our measuring unit press the button to tear zero so first of all i'm going to add at least 100 grams of clear resin in our container and 100 so here we have got finally 100 grams of resin then add 50 grams of hardener which will make it complete 150 so here you have got the ratio of resin and hardener which is two parts of clear resin and one part of hardener so here we are adding 100 grams of clear resin and then 50 grams of hardener the same process can also be done using a measuring spoon for which you can use two spoons of clear resin and one spoon of hardener and then finally we have to mix it really well so here i'm going to use an ice cream stick and mix the complete content 
for at least 5 minutes. Now friends, I have finally completed mixing all my resin and this is how it looks. In all, it contains 150 grams of resin from which I'm going to pour just a little bit of resin in a smaller container so that we can mix gold foil with this clear resin. Now gently pick up a gold foil and directly add it in this resin container using a stick start mixing gold foil with resin it will automatically start breaking and mixing with the resin so finally this is how all the resin and gold foil will look so this is how friends you will get two different resins one is clear resin and the second is the resin in which we added gold foil just before pouring your resin please check that your base is completely dust free hair free as you know i do have two cats so sometimes before resin i use a tape like this one and gently pick up any dust or cat hair present on my silicone molds okay so now this is completely ready for use for my first container i would like to add some gold resin surrounding and then just a little bit of transparent resin check all the corners so for our first tray i have selected these tiny red beautiful flowers and i'm going to start by placing them exactly in center one by one Once you are finally satisfied by placing all the flowers, use a little bit of clear resin to cover up all the flowers. Now for our next two containers, I'm going to add a little bit of clear resin. Let it spread till that. Just gently press the rose. and place it to the center adding some white resin try to keep the rose in the center and now i'll add a lot of gold flakes mix resin from side i'll do the same for this one also here i'm taking a beautiful carnation Place it exactly in the center and then pour the gold all around. It looks beautiful. And now on top of it, let's pour some clear resin so that it may cover the entire flower. Make sure that the flower is completely dipped in resin. Now use a gas torch to blow out all the bubbles from the top. Be very gentle because we have placed flowers in the resin and we don't want the resin to get overheated. Okay, this much would be enough. Now pour a little bit of clear resin. Let it spread all around. Then add the orchid flower exactly in the center. And then finally add the gold. Now again top up with clear resin. I'm just going to spread a little bit of gold foil all around.
little torch up to pop out all the bubbles. For my next tray, I have selected a bunch of white flowers. These are very tiny but beautiful white flowers. And this time, I'm going to place the flowers first. Now I'm finally happy with the arrangement I made. So I'll place clear resin over the flowers in this way. This is enough. And for this one, I'm going to place gold foil resin in the center part. I think this much amount is enough. Using a torch, I'll just gently blow out any top bubbles. You have to be very gentle because flowers are also in the resin. So you don't want to overheat it just till the level that all the bubbles are popped out. I'm going to pour just a little bit of clear resin in the mold first. Spread it to all the sides. Then I'm going to add a few gold flakes. Advise you to add small pieces at a time and then mix it in this way. The gold flakes will break up automatically by itself. You see we have got so many beautiful pieces. And for this container I'm going to add a few rose flakes. Now you see this is how I'm going to mix this rose petals. I'll just add a few more here and there. And then finally I'm going to add these gold in the blank space. And now add some more clear resin so that all the petals get submerged in resin make sure that each time in each coaster you're pouring at least 50 grams of resin because the coaster has to be enough thick now for my next tray we are going to pour gold foil first Now one by one, I'm going to hold these petals, place them where I want it to be and then bring the length to here and gently cut the excess. Gently place the petal, bring it to the center excess and cut it. Sometimes for a petal like this that we want to open, we need to use a paintbrush. You don't want to break the petal or mess anything up just to open the petal. It looks so so beautiful. Now finally place a layer of clear resin on all the petals. Just for the center, I want to add a few of these metallic balls. Just as much as enough. They will act as pollens. And finally, use a gas torch to blow out all the unnecessary bubbles. Okay. Now, this is how I like to cover up my molds after placing the resin using clean fill which is actually a plastic food packaging now friends we will let this resin get cured for at least 24 hours and then i will take out all these beautiful displays and show you how does it looks okay now finally after 24 hours this is how our resin mold looks so i like to cover it with a transparent plastic foil Let's remove it. The resin is cured completely. Let's start taking them out one by one. You simply have to press the sides 
of the resin mold in this way first so that it gets separate from the mold easily and one by one let's start picking them up and look at this wow how natural and beautiful it looks so to get this kind of smooth top i always do a second pour because when you do pours like this using flowers or gold leaf generally some part comes and floats on the top so to get a smooth coaster like this one surely pour a second layer of clear resin take out this one Look at the back. It looks so natural and so beautiful with the colors of flower. It has two shading on single leaf. And this is how it looks. So pretty and beautiful, right? Okay, I'll show you one on which I did not do second layer. Is this beautiful orchid. And you can see how thin it is. If you don't do a second layer, your flower can float up and if you can observe that here this part has a little touching of flower so it is not smooth so this is one example if you don't do a second layer of clear resin i absolutely love this natural beautiful coloring of flowers so this is the one i'm going to do one more layer sometimes the flowers are quite thick and you really need to do a thick layer of second coating of clear resin and this one is a clear example so this is twice the size of a normal coaster i make but due to the flower was so thick this is a carnation i have to do quite amount of pour and this is how finally it looks it's so beautiful and you can clearly see how clear the resin has dried it's so beautiful and transparent i love this one next is using the naturally dried rose petals from itsy bitsy okay wow look at the back side it's so beautiful gold and look at the resin it's so beautiful and clear i just love it the final one this is with those beautiful pink cry flowers so this will match my resin tray in the same way i have made one more so this is also the one i need to do second layer of a resin covering because you can clearly see the flowers floating on the top next this coaster is appearing with this one and one more i did using the gulmohar flowers so this was my first experiment which i did to make these resin trays and rest everything is so beautiful and so successful i think these two are my favorite now these are all the beautiful coasters we made now friends let me show you just one last step on this resin coaster in case you have got any sharp edges on the front side of coaster use a cutter like this make sure that your coaster is completely dry and it's been at least 24 hours or more before you start doing this hold your knife in this way and gently pull it so that you can easily remove all the sharp edges and get a smooth edging like this now all the edges are smooth so they cannot harm your fingers or hand while using it after scraping you'll get something like this kind of this is even the dried resin okay this kind of remaining so you get after scraping and now you can either keep it blank like this or else just use a golden sharpie to give it some golden color edging in this way some people also like to color the sides of coaster but I would like to keep them transparent as they look so beautiful and the light and the light clearly helps the gold to shine out. See the golden border actually gives a definition to that round shape but for the rest of them I'm going to keep it transparent because they're so beautiful 
they look and finally friends this is how beautiful all our resin coasters look with all different flowers in their center i absolutely love each one of them they look so beautiful and you can clearly see how clean and clear the resin is this is definitely going to keep these flowers forever i love the gold and these flower effect together you see how natural it looks how transparent it is though i have poured such a thick layer of resin it's so clean clear and beautiful so friends do give it a try make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial and if you do like my tutorials friends please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching